Hey guys, and welcome back to Fortune Theory for our bonus episode of Loki, episode five. And yeah. boy, this was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, thoughts? I, I did love it, Jim. We were just explaining beforehand, like how like we add opinions on it differ slightly with what we what I, I took from this episode because I I loved the episode and what happened in it. I felt like the middle bit was a bit filler ish, although I I mean Morbius like. Seeing Morbius in like this in the car, and um, Mobius, Morbius, yeah. <laughs> me. Morbius oh. is the living vampire. <laughs> I know. Not to be confused with another Marvel character, <laughs> Mobius. Yes, uh, correction. Um, him arriving, like going after <laughs> Sylvie in the car is hilarious, and just those bits. Uh, but yeah, it was generally really good. And then obviously trying to like Loki that we've been following Loki, trying to what do they call the sky? Um. What was what was uh, that called again? Whatever now. that is Honestly, called, like Li- Leviathan. Or something. Yeah, I think but, so. no, something, something um, like that. That was pretty cool. Like, the whole like that being a plot device for this episode, um, like the main en- enemy of the episode, along with uh, the TVA as it always has been ever since about episode. Like, I mean, the TVA has basically been an, uh, the antagonist of the series the entire time, but now it's become a sort of secondary antagonist as well. It's become the last plot point but it's like well, it's like generally... it did that thing where it played off in the beginning like they're the villains and then you'd think oh well they're not though are they it's gonna come across yeah. as like it's a character and then you'd yeah. think it was sylvie and then like by episode three you kind of oh this is how they're going this way with it where mm. it's like the thought to be villain is actually like the second main character yeah then you've got like people you believe were the good guys or the bad guys it's kind of doing the whole captain marvel thing Mm. Where it's like, you think the Kree are the good guys and, and the scrolls are the bad guys. Is it scroll or skull? Scrolls, isn't it? Yeah. they're the. You think they're the bad guys when actually it's the other way around. Even though in the comics, the scrolls are the villains anyway. And in yeah. the first episode, if you remember, there was a scroll in the TVA being charged. Yeah, yeah. Um, when Loki gets first brought in, little Easter eggs there. Mm. I like, because I like I how the entire one well. plot's gone of this series. Because obviously we didn't know, like it was... We it's weird and it changes in each it. episode it's like, like our episode not, two and three yeah. thoughts have now completely not completely changed but like we didn't know if Syl how much of a villain sylvie was before we knew it was sylvie um and like her and like the like the mart or whatever it was called like the new what was it cotton fox mart i don't know what the exact name was as you said it was like a reference to another part of the uh mcu but um that was pretty cool back like the transition between like then and now but um yeah it was a really good episode i really like i liked how it immediately basically went to where we left off from and it was like cool transitional point at the beginning and finally got to <laughs> run the cut the cuts between the scenery of like the tva like yeah. the opening shot where it's like you know being all like um clockwise and then it cuts down to another floor where you've got the beheaded head of the root of the android um mm. timekeepers then cutting through like what almost seems like just another part underground which is actually like the void that they're sent but obviously it's not underground it's like sent it's like a another apocalyptic reality where nothing can be changed and it's where all everything that gets reset yeah or pruned as they like to say is sent which i'm guessing is also realities as well um, like mm. the entirety of that reality that they've had to reset. So like an entire universe in a branch line is like sent there kind of in a way. Yeah. And I think or well, something like that, I feel like anyway, because there's a scene where like a ship turns up with people on the ship and yeah, everything. And to go on to that. then they second. start like yeah. battleship. Mm. And I thought, is that like a reset? Are they coming? Cause someone's like, you know, they, like that's from a reset reality mm. must be. That that's why that's why that's kind of turned up, and and they all get killed by the creature. Mm. And... The cloud, <laughs> like the creature, is actually like because that 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 ship in towards the end of the episode was like a really good way of showing like what it really does. Because up until that point, obviously every single thing in this reality <laughs> is it like escapes that. from it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't actually get to see the you know the causality of what it what it no. can do and it basically just transitions um, everything from 
the previous thing into this destructive nice. look now. There was a few Easter eggs as well, um, because, yeah, you had the President Loki that was set up in the trailer. Like, mm. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Originally, in the trailer, I did think it was the Loki we were following in the series, but, you know, that's just Tom Hiddleston for you. I was like, I, I knew that there was going to be a scene where there was going to be another Tom Hiddleston Loki as well. Yeah. Well, as um, it is the main Loki, really. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he is pretty much yeah. the main Loki. It made a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, and I love, like, Richard E. Grant's classic Loki from the comics. Um, basically elaborated on how he faked death, escaped to an isolated planet um, post-Thanos, mm. um, which basically could explain like a version of events where our main Loki could have survived, theorizing mm. that the main Loki from the main MCU timeline actually could still be alive. He could have done the exact same thing. Perhaps mm. we find that out at the end of the series where maybe like he did the same thing as the classic Loki or something similar. Classic Loki's <laughs> death. Um... <laughs> what was your reaction when you saw that i did it like it was great it was amazing the laugh was just me you but... know me it's just like of course oh for fuck's sake <laughs> like you knew it was going to be mentioned and then when he raises the well. entire city with obviously the asgard that, yeah that, yeah, that, that was is crazy fantastic. that was amazing yeah I thought for a second, like, you know, it's illusion, isn't it? So it's like, because it's low. Yeah, because as soon as like, the creature goes all, to chop off like, go a bit of a it. tower, he obviously, like, it's just... It, it just yeah, sort illusion. of deforms and then reforms when he goes through it. Yeah, because it's just all magic. Yeah. Mm. That was an amazing way to end it. And then obviously it ends with the uh, creatures, like, the, like, defeating the creature. The, like... Can't tell if it's dead something. or if it's just in a in a dream sense. And it's like well, it's unlocking the key for what, Loki and Sylvie to go through, which is obviously where they end up in. Because what they've done is the um, like the same way that like Sylvie was able to like get into everyone's minds. So I'm guessing it's kind of like that. Um, they've kind of got into the mind of the creature. Maybe they're like able to or like take advantage of it like that in some way, like go through it. So yeah, because it's not really like dead, because it's just basically just opened up the same way everyone's thoughts open up to her or whoever she does it with so that's it's a pretty cool way it ended but, um, yeah um, i saw an easter egg as well like, i think i saw a thanos's ship the sanctuary 2 in the background it was yeah. either that or at first i thought it was a leviathan not as in the creature in the in the episode like as in the leviathan the chitari leviathans from you know thanos's army in the first avengers film uh, attack new york but then I thought, hang on a minute, it looks actually more like the Sanctuary 2. So um, I wonder if any of the other podcasters are going to pick that up when they're doing their reviews for the episodes. But yeah, I mm. could have sworn I saw that. Yeah. But yeah, like... What we the, spotted, what fact... we clicked by... Oh, did I just said for you? Saw... Oh, did you? <laughs> your... It was time for me to wear. <laughs> just like... <laughs> I really hope that picks up. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like you know, all clickbait. Well, we found hidden thing. That was oh. That was... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, only for you that anyway. Was trippy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like pause for that. I was like, oh no. And then was there. Anyway, oh. to the point. Yeah, like um, the fact that the classic Loki references the events of post Thanos, mm. proving that a Loki could could have survived through that point. That just yeah. plays onto the fan fictions of um, he making reference to Avengers: Infinity War and like all the fan theories that came out about how Loki could have faked his death once again because he's known to doing that. He's done it multiple times in the past in the MCU, hmm. and technically he's kind of done it again, even if it's not his ver like his main version through the pruning, because like he got pruned and then by that point an audience's perspective believes he's dead, and then obviously we find out in that cliffhanger and then well post credit scene in four that hmm. he wasn't dead and weirdly there wasn't a post credit scene for episode five i thought there would be but to be fair yeah. i think they packed a lot of a punch enough for there to not necessarily it's because be of, one i think how much anticipation there was for like they obviously set up up to episode four what happens or what doesn't happen sorry when you are um like vaporized and so now it was like, what the hell just happened? Episode four, which is why I think they did that. And obviously, as soon as he was like laying on the ground, looking up at all the other Loki variants, it's like, holy crap. But this time, yes, there was the anticipation of what happens when the when they opened 
went through like the gates of the creature that opened up, but but if you know his name, we've forgotten the exact name. Yeah, it, it begins with L. That's all I remember. <laughs> Just the creature is so a reference. Oh, every time they said it, I was like, it feels like there needs to be something added to it. Like, <laughs> it feels like they were trying to say Leviathan, but they were saying, like, Leviathan or something or whatever. Mm. felt like it Just was like someone with a lisp know. trying to say something. No offense to <laughs> you have a lisp, by the way. Uh, <laughs> like Patrick. I know, uh, I have one myself, so don't worry. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. one on the same. Uh, to be fair, I, 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 like, get tongue twisted with words anyway. <laughs> yeah. but, um, there we go. Loki episode five. Yeah. We have one more yeah. left before hey. behind the scenes. Um, like We've got sure. um, episode six. Oh. Um, also, if you're a UK resident, um, I don't know when this video is going to drop. When it will probably today. Yeah, anyway. today it will be today. Black Widow also comes out today in cinemas. So um, go check it out. So yeah. go check it out. Or if you are willing to pay the little bit extra for the premiere access on Disney Plus, it's available mm-hmm. on there as well. Um, so we get two Marvel drops today. So that'll be that'll Hell be insane yeah. of a film. Uh, you Marvel fans out there, go watch. Yeah, this is a big day. <laughs> this is a big day for you today, uh, July seventh. We might even get yeah. Spider Man Home No Way Home trailer drop as well because I, I saw a post online saying the trailer is now complete. Um, whether that's true or not, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah. you know, popular way to premiere to premiere it would be as part of the trailers for Black Widow. But mm. yeah, I'm, the cinema. But I know that they drop it on the on YouTube first, so. Plus, Marvel's got creative control over the rights of their distribution, of their marketing everything distribution, they do. So yeah. for all of their marketing now. So, yeah, uh, that would be interesting. But anyway, um, go watch Loki we'll episode five. Go off the tangent. series below, <laughs> and our playlist. All the episodes to it up below. to five are available on um, Disney Plus now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but feel yeah. free to check those out, and we'll see you in the next one. That's no Which will probably be Black Widow, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Black Widow after this one. Yeah. So another bonus. <laughs> Of a bonus. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.